follow up now to a story we first told you about about three weeks ago. A woman and her family of seven were stuck renting a house from hell. It was trashed, had an odor so foul it was difficult to breathe in there. We have now learned that they have gotten a new home. CBS4 investigator Katie Weiss joins us live from that new house tonight in Denver. And Katie, it was your reporting that helped make this happen. Well, they've traded in that unbearable smell of mold and urine for something a little more livable. That's this house behind me. It's something they really didn't think was possible until we got involved. Thanks to that story, because the next day is when I got the phone call. Tijana Whitaker recalls the moment she learned she could move out of this Green Valley Ranch rental house. I was at work and I started crying. In July, Whitaker and her family were desperate for a home until the landlord for this house on Ireland Street accepted their application. But on move in day, the house was a disaster. Leaking water on the basement floor, piles of trash stuffed under the deck, urine soaked into the carpets and walls. And you will gasp for air as you come down here? A stench so bad, it made her family sick. I mean, none of us have asthma, yet we were having trouble breathing. It, yeah. it was horrible. Whitaker said because of her lousy credit, she felt like she had no other option but to try to stick it out. She filed a complaint with the Denver Department of Public Health and Environment, which tells us it cited the landlord 999 bucks for not addressing some of the violations found in the home. And after our story aired three weeks ago, Whitaker says an old friend called her to help. And she reached out to me the following day and was like, oh my gosh, Tajana, I have a home that's available for rent. It's been vacant for two and a half months. And we both determined that it was by the grace of God, the house was just sitting here waiting for us. Now she and her family are celebrating a fresh start. But because of you and Channel 4, our story got out there and the right person heard it. And now we're in a home. So I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I just spoke with the landlord a few hours ago. He tells me he's going to be fixing some of those violations found in the home, but he's also going to be appealing some others. The health department, though, says that he must address the citation before any other tenants can move into that house. Reporting live in Denver, I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.